I've got a feeling that this young fella is trying to trick me into something. He's trying to give me a bottle of Taiwan water, but I've been fooled by this before. <laughs> G'day everyone. This week, we spent four days hiking in the stunning She Pa National Park here in Taiwan. And I left it a little bit late to make the video I had planned. Rather than miss a week, I grabbed a little opportunity in a campsite a couple of days ago. We met a lovely family traveling for the Lunar New Year holidays in what I thought is a pretty awesome and unique camper. We were very lucky to be given a tour of this Taiwanese made three maker truck camper on a Kia 4x4 dual cab truck. I was pretty excited about this camper, as I am whenever we meet fellow truck camper owners. So I thought I'd share this walkthrough with you guys. I won't be getting super technical in this video, just a short and simple tour purely to share a cool rig, starting from the outside. This camper is a fiberglass molded shell design. Having the single molded shell like this does make the camper quite high at around 2.8 meters, a little too high for something I'd want as an overlander, but perfect for what these guys use it for. The camper is fixed to the truck using ratchet straps. Ratchet straps are by far the best, safest and most simple way to fix a camper to the truck. This system was pretty nice with a custom fixing on the straps that slotted into a groove on the camper. The camper also had a very clever secondary retention fixing system. This locked the camper to the truck to prevent it sliding back. A 110 litre main potable water tank with an auxiliary of around 40 litres. An externally mounted instantaneous propane hot water system with quick connect water lines. I really like this setup with the hot water unit being easily removed and left at home if not required. Taiwan gets insanely hot and humid summers, so you're probably not going to be needing those hot showers if camping during this season. The camper entry is at the rear, with the small aircraft style door opening, giving very easy access with heaps of headroom. A full bathroom with fold down basin, shower and cassette toilet. The cab over sleeping area was huge, easily accommodating mum, dad and one of the boys. My young mate Kyle, that was nice enough to give me the tour, sleeps downstairs on an easily set up bed made from the couch. The living area also had a good sized table that was quick to install and stored away when not in use. This is my storage. storage. Yeah. A split system air conditioning unit with the other half mounted on the rear of the camper. No solar system on this camper, but with no off-grid camping intended, solar was not necessary. The family only use this camper for weekend trips and holidays where they'll always stay in campsites and plug into mains power. You may have noticed as we cruised around this camper that there is no kitchen inside, no sink or cooking appliances. All the meal prep is done under the large awning outside on portable cooking gear. This camper is definitely designed for a specific market like Taiwan and intended for use in dedicated campsites where kitchen sinks and cleaning areas are available. In Taiwan's climate where even the winters are quite mild, cooking outside is comfortable all year round. I hope you enjoyed that brief intro into how a Taiwanese family enjoy camping in what I reckon is a pretty cool rig. If you do find these types of videos interesting, please leave a comment below. We're meeting so many awesome crew here in Taiwan with really nice setups, so I could easily make this a regular theme. Thanks heaps for checking out the video and we'll catch you next time. This is where you keep the Taiwanese water. Taiwanese Taiwan water. water. Taiwan water. <laughs> no. <laughs>